Hello, in this video I'm going to talk about the uh, MGP uh, panel decoders uh, and specifically the input types. So uh, since I have three of these panels, uh, more or less, well I have this panel which is uh, the full size panel and this is what, uh, when I first turn on the, the layout, it's, uh, it's uh, these routes are always, the, this route will always be on, uh, there's a train there so it's yellow and then this route is usually always on because um, the train will always take this route or this route. Uh, in this case, it's not occupied. Uh, these boxes are showing us occupied. There's some uh, trains in the uh, in the yard. So, but none of the routes are uh, none of the other routes are selected. So usually, what I start off by doing is I'll press this uh, interrogation button, and now I'll uh, look around the layout and see um, if there are other blocks that are occupied and uh yeah in this case it's uh, telling me that there's uh the track is set here there's a track set here this is yellow it's occupied uh here it's uh here there, there, this is occupied this one's occupied and the route is going there and this is telling me that that route is selected so um i can set a route and this this route is set to go up there so let's i'll start off by saying i'll switch this to that take that route I'll select this route up here. Those lights will all turn green. I'll select this route so that if the train takes the mountain line, it won't come here. I'll go up. Uh, then I'll take this track here. Again, the mountain line. But if it's going up along here, it's coming here, it's coming down this way, then I have a choice between these two tracks. I'll select this one so it's no longer go going there so that one is red because it's to tell me it's occupied but this is green so selected so now the train will do a route come into the yard here let's say i'll take this guy here so that now the train will bypass those tracks and come into this yard so now it should be able to do a full circle so uh as you can see as i'm pressing the buttons it's setting the routes and uh these are push buttons not uh, uh switch so it's momentary contact instead of a full contact you press it and it's uh, it switches and stays in the in the, um, in the position you set you set it it's just momentary so that board is set up like that then i have a second board here uh, on the desk which is basically exactly the same thing so all the stuff that's happening there is will also appear on this little tiny board the only difference is that this board will be showing me uh, uh or I'll be setting the switches. I've set the switches so that um, when I press the push button, it'll, instead of actually flipping the, the turnouts, the routes, it's going to say that the blocks are occupied. So in this case, let's say I'll, uh, if I press this first button, A. Uh, see, it's telling me block A is occupied now. If I push this button up here, the root these buttons are a little finicky because they're rubber type and uh, you have to have a good um, good contact I'll use a hard surface let's see it's not sitting in a box so it's it's it just falls over there now that blocks occupied I could say uh, let me see uh, another route I'll say is occupied will be uh, we'll choose this one here that one's occupied so you see that as I toggle them they become those box shows occupied and now another board I have here which is again exactly the same kind of board but these switches are programmed so that uh, when I press the button Instead of actually um, selecting the, it does select the route, but it's actually telling me, see, I'll press it here, telling me that it's green. It means uh, I've selected this route, and then now I've unselected it. And if you look back at this panel here, as I press it there, see all the other panels get updated. But the difference is that uh, in this case, in this board, I'm telling it uh, the status of the route, like set the status of that route as opposed to set the route itself don't flip turnouts like you can hear there's no turnouts that are flipping i'm just saying that the the block uh the route is selected so in this case again the route is selected is green press it again it's off 
this board is uh, is with uh, is about block occupancy so if i set the uh, if i press this button let me use the uh, pin here Now it's, I'm saying that the block is occupied. And then press it again, the blended block is unoccupied. Whereas on this board, if I'm pressing the button, now it's saying, now it's gonna select the root, the turnoffs are actually flipping. If I trigger it again, it'll just select the same root because what's it, I'm, I'm sending the command for a cl switch closed. And here, I'm if I for this route, I'm uh, the same push button. I'm using it for the uh, switch status closed. And then, and on this guy, I'm pressing it. I'm asking for uh, the. Um, uh, let me see. What is it? I'm asking for. See, I'll refer to this. Uh, I'll pro. I'll show you the program here. How it goes. Now I'm reading one of the boards. Inputs, input one. Okay, see here it's showing me, hopefully it's clear. Switch status toggle. So it's the status of, of the switch, it's not the actual, um, I'm not actually triggering the switches. I'm just uh, asking, I'm just telling it to tell me that yes, it's occupied as opposed to actually occupied um, sorry not occupied but yes it's triggered as opposed to actually triggering if you see here i'll go i'll give me i'll go into the options here so you can have the switch do nothing first option then switch toggle so that's like saying toggle uh, switch toggle or turn out toggle so I, every time i uh, switch uh, switch toggle means when i press the button once it'll go to close i press it again it'll flip it to throw so as I keep pressing it, it goes close, throw, close, throw. Uh, switch thrown means that when you press it, it'll go throw. Every time you press it, it'll go throw. It'll, it'll never change from throw. It'll just always go throw. So in some cases, you want to, to set a root and it has to be thrown. Well, that's where you set it for that. Um, then switch closed is it usually... Uh, when you select roots there, you, you, you never select a root as a switch thrown. You always select a root as a switch closed. And then it checks the, uh, there's a root table uh, that you identify what the roots are. And uh, there's a combination of turnouts in there. And then once you say that that uh, group of turnouts uh, is closed, then that means that, that it'll select all those turnouts and put them in the closed position. Uh, switch closed thrown, that's for um, when, that means uh, uh, when the button is activated, the order is set for closed. And when released, the order is sent for thrown. So it means you press and hold it, it'll go close. You release it, it'll go thrown. And you would use that if you're, if you're instead of using push buttons, if you're using actual toggle switches. So you would flip the toggle up. So now it's locked in one position. Let's say closed or thrown. So then the, it would throw the, uh, the switch. And then if you flip it down into the closed position, it would close the switch, but it would, you know, it would keep it as close. So you're, you're toggling between them. Um, Closed and thrown, but that but on a uh, on a physical switch with the two positions as opposed to a push button. So that's what the so that's all for the switches. But then as you go into the uh, the next group of um, uh, options, it's status toggle. So now you're doing the same four combinations, but you're asking it for uh, the block occupancy basically. The status is the block occupancy. So you can toggle uh, again. You when you press a button, I'll say it's occupied. You. Uh, you press a button again, I'll say it's unoccupied. Um, yeah, so, so let me see. Switch toggle, uh, status toggle, status occupied, status free, status free and occupied. Then you have the interrogation button, which is, uh, it asks the system, um, you know, what, what are the state of, uh, what's the state of all the uh, block occupancy and switches. Then when you get down to here where it says uh, switch status toggle, that's the uh, that's the one that I was just showing on the the other panel where uh, 
it's it's uh, you're triggering the saying that the blocks uh, not the blocks sorry the turnouts are selected but it's not physically uh, uh, fl uh, flipping the turnouts because uh, one of the things is uh, the way the system works is uh, <clears throat> if you send a command to f toggle a switch like uh, in the beginning up here uh, switch toggle switch thrown and such um, you can tell it to toggle the switches but the system the local net needs to get like a reply back to say that it's actually done if you want a light to go on because the leds go on by uh by receiving a status so if you don't set it as a to receive a status and then you you just set the switch oh when i press when i press the switch it's going to throw that uh, that turnout fine i'll turn it turn out but you never get a what they that's why they have a, an option called auto answer so that when you when you flip the switch that it, it will it will send a command on local net to say i flipped the switch but then if you en enable the auto answer then at the same time it'll say yes uh, the switch was flipped so you can keep those two things uh, together in the case of auto answer or separate and then the reason and the reason of separate is that let's say on the turnout you could have a little switch you can have a tortoise uh, motor that has a contact underneath uh, for, for a switch contact so when the switch is uh, when you send press the button to to uh, energize the coil or the the motor it'll flip the turnout and then um, if the turnout doesn't flip you don't want to have an auto answer let's say you say you say press the button and it said yeah i sent the command but i don't know the wire was disconnected or something it, it thinks it sends it and then right away i'll send yeah i i flipped it but you're getting a, like a false positive so if you end up having a uh um, a switch contact on on your uh, coil or on your motor or whatever it is you can have that be the feedback the switch feedback and then that will actually trigger the light so what happens is when you say some guys wire leds to their switches uh, directly and then when they flip the switch the led goes red they flip the switch the LED, even if there's no motor connected at the other end you flip the switch the led goes green or you flip it the other way it goes red so it's giving a false positive that the the switch is being turned but it, it's it, that's not the case so if you want a true uh, information you need to have uh, a physical sw uh, switch there something on the turnout that will uh, trigger the um, the switch to uh, to give the, the the feedback and that's what these uh, guys are doing at the bottom here you're telling it the switch uh, status uh, feedback so switch it's that's where the in the third panel where i'm saying i, I press the switch and it's telling yeah uh that that uh, uh, turnout's been selected or not so in some cases that's what you might want so uh at least the option is it's given you here in in this uh in this menu to flip those options so it sounds a little complicated um but at least it's uh it's giving you more information i mean these are options you could use or not or choose not to use uh but since i had a couple of boards here i wanted to test out how these uh these things are doing the other option it's giving me at the bottom is send track power on when i press the button or i could set another button for uh set track uh, power off i guess there's no toggle between on and off uh down in here so um so that's a bit how that's uh these boards were set up so uh hope that's uh some good information thanks for listening bye